Ghana. Okay, so let's look at um, what you said in terms of, uh, like you said, the industry, we are struggling, right? Yeah, we yeah. are. Okay. To me, and this is me speaking, I see you as one of the best performers in Ghana. Thank you. Know? you. Oh, Obviously, thank you. I think at the top right now, there's, um, and, I, and she's not been in the circuit for a while, Sharifa, oh, because she goodness. get these fancy dances mm -hmm. and, you know, definitely liven it up. No, Luyala knows how to, you know, yeah. entertain as well. Um, I think somewhere around there, there's Efia and uh, maybe some of the others I've not seen them, they could be. But then I, I think you are one of those at the top. Why do you feel like your name is not a household name yet? What do you think is, is I mean, people know you, people know your songs, you know, but like you're not a household name like in the press. Why do you think that is? Well, uh, first of all, like I said, talent alone doesn't make you successful. In Ghana, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, it, not even in Ghana, yeah, everywhere yeah, in yeah. general. You need somebody to take you, invest in you, mm -hmm. and make you the household name. Um, I had the opportunity of getting a good start, mm -hmm. okay? Started with xylophone, things was going well, and then things suddenly didn't go well. It's, it's that whole drop had a big effect on me yeah. emotionally and also my career wise because when xylophone went down. yeah mm -hmm. w because f and also with my manager passing away mm -hmm. yes because first of all if if, th if my management was strong mm -hmm. or if things were really going well and my manager passed away i could be grieving whilst things are still ongoing yes. you know promotion could be ongoing but then both of them happen yeah. at the so same if, time if, if one of them happened and the other one didn't you'd be cool if if uh, if, if um, xylophone went down you'd have willie roy to say yeah. don't worry we're going to yeah. push on yeah if willie roy unfortunately passed away and xylophone was still there yeah. like okay cool yeah. we're still going to invest yeah. in you but you had both, both at the same time almost wow. almost at the same yeah. time going down and that that really did take it all on me because yeah. first of all i had personally i don't have money to push my own songs yeah. Yeah. okay secondly the person who corrects me, the person who wakes up, who actually wakes me up. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's somebody who like, call you, oh, test you, yeah. like, you know, why are you not here? Why are you not doing this? The person who pushes me mm -hmm. is that. So yeah, push yeah, push, push, me, yeah, push myself and invest in myself. Job. There was, there was mm -hmm. too much mm -hmm. for me at the time. Even though I was up for it and mm -hmm. for me, I don't know how to grieve. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody had their way of grieving. Mm -hmm. Mine is ignoring mm -hmm. i ignore my pain mm -hmm. so it's just <laughs> crashes down on me one day so when mr roy died when things were not going well at xylophone i was hopeful mm -hmm. still i mean i still we started looking for investors we, we even wrote a whole proposal you know things were going on and then we'd be encouraging mm -hmm. but actually i won't lie to you mr roy was affected about when about things not going well xylophone yeah. his spirit you could feel the, the spirit ran down at, yeah. at first he was hopeful it was, yeah, it was right. very hopeful yeah. but getting to the end when he was about to die i could feel yeah. well everyone sort of felt that his way. spirit was yeah. down so especially with the radio also being closed down you know at least he had radio to yeah. go to and still you know promote oh, his stuff but then xylophone fm, FM. Was still going up it was but for a moment it went down yeah. okay and when that was taken away from him too, mm -hmm. it really did take it all on him. So it was difficult yeah. for me to put those two together. Mm -hmm. So the reason why my name or my songs are not heard everywhere is because I'm here. actually not promoting it as mm -hmm. I should. I won't lie to you. Mm -hmm. When I release a song, I have my social media, mm -hmm. I do my best. But then I even for social media, you know, you and I know yeah. that the social media some years ago is not the same. Yeah. I mean, in terms of the peop number of people who sees your stats. Yeah. yeah, I remember you used to complain like it, yeah. it's dropped. Yeah. The more people like your page, the more they just cut it into half yeah. and hoping that you pay, yeah, you exactly. know, exactly. Yeah. You know, I see other most of my colleagues have like almost 24 7 sponsored stuffs going on even people who have made their name yes i don't have the money to do that exactly. I don't, to do the same thing at most i can do two days mm -hmm. you know so i don't have the money to keep up uh pushing my stuffs yeah. so when i bring out a song i use the strength i have the links that i have to get airplays and but i really don't have the money to put in like 
other people are doing to let it go up. So I I I I, I do things on my Your own my own capability. Yeah. That's what I'm saying that we need help or the industry need I'm not the only one, a lot of young ones mm -hmm. are suffering. We really do need help. I don't like But sometimes it. when you're in this show business, like you see yourself going up and down, up and down and you think, Oh my god, I'm going down or oh my but from the fans point of view, they're not seeing an up and they're not seeing any up and down. They're just like, okay, if the keys hasn't maybe released anything in two months. Mm. So everything is normal. So it's just basically waiting for the time that maybe your next, waiting for the time that maybe your next song comes out. So you have enlightened us obviously by letting us know that it's not easy. It's left to right, it's up, down. A lot of things, and even before you release a song, yeah. sorry, a lot of things goes on. I mean, aside releasing a song, mm -hmm. musicians have life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we have life, we have things we do. You need to record it. I, I have a song, mm -hmm. I've recorded with three different people. Every time, it's not good. Yeah. Even though really professionals. So, but I want the best. Yeah. It's not about how expensive they are or the name they have in yes. the industry. The, uh, is a person who can capture my voice yes. well. Okay, so this is like the third time I'm re-recording with a different person. So, uh, like someone you're featuring? No, this is my own song. But then I'm saying the production. Okay, okay. Yeah, the okay. mixing of the voice okay. and the mastering, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, a lot goes into bringing out a song. Yeah. Okay, so when you're not releasing a song doesn't mean your life as a musician is not going exactly. on. Yeah, it's just still, I perform almost every week. Mm -hmm. Okay, so releasing a song is just one of the things a musician does, not everything. Yeah. yeah. Ghana. TV. I came to play, 100%. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fashion, fashion, fashion.